What's up, buddy? Yell everything this time, you know what I'm talking about? Yellow rounds, yellow big booty, yellow bones, yellow rounds, yellow MPs, yellow watch, yellow charm ring, chain, yellow lemon room set, lemonade can shoot for my girl. Hey, I'm Fryer. Welcome to the crib. Even though our day jobs, we sort of bring people to the Lord, to salvation. We work hard, and then we play hard. That's my homie Kai. We've been there since day one. That's my homie Ian over there. Now, the thing is that, as you know, when we put on the robes, we take a vow of poverty. So really, our crib situation isn't great, so we've sort of been couch surfing. We're in a basement right now. Uh, I mean, last night was wild, so we just sort of ended up here. So the people up there really don't know that we're here right now, so we gotta keep it low while I give you a tour. Come on. So as you can see, we got the chairs. Very lounge, casual area. The elliptical. We like to keep ourselves fit, you know? Just because we're working on the strength of our soul doesn't mean we can't work on the strength of our body. You know, get on here. Hit this 10, 15 minutes like this. You got a tight body. Seasonal decorations, gotta honor our Lord. Some seasoned tongues, you know. This really our chill space, you know. Got a vacuum, just to keep things clean for when the ladies come through. You know, we culture. We got some books we read. You know, Salinger, Orwell. We don't just read the Holy Word, even though that's my favorite. Shout out to Jesus. And this is my favorite chair right here, you know we get in here talking about life, getting real deep, I sit here and I reflect, you know? And, I mean, the crib isn't luxurious, but I think it works for us. It's really an us crib. It's not about how loud it is. It's about what it means deep down. So today we're about to take you on an adventure. So I'm about to walk you through, you know, me, the homies, how we, how we link up, what we do, how we work hard, how we play hard, our lives. And then after that, we're going to go on a little trip, show you how hard we actually play. So, uh, what do you guys actually do? Yeah, so um, during the day, we're warriors of our Savior Jesus Christ. And um, by night, we are warriors for the uh, ladies. So, uh, how do you guys actually uh, meet up? Well, started a long time ago back in Rome when our ancestors, they um, gathered up a lot of women and took them back to the British Isles, and he had about 25 side chicks. And then it just carried down from there. We're all closely related, so that's what we do. So, uh, you guys say you hang out with the girls a lot, but I thought that you guys were friars. Well, I mean, I always heard stuff like girls like cops, girls like firemen, girls like guys that are good with kids. Do you know who girls like even more? Guys that have a direct link to Jesus. So I was like, let's be priests. Being a priest is actually kind of hard. It takes a lot of work. I wasn't really paying attention in Catholic school. Bible class was kind of like a zone out time for me. So I was like, okay, let's be a monk. Being a monk is just as much work as being a priest. So I was like, no, nah, but a friar, a friar. Being. It's great. So basically all you do is beg for money. So I was like, okay, don't have to know much about, you know, the Bible, but you do get to beg for money. So I was like, I can do this. So basically what happened is took the vow of poverty. No problem. Vow of chastity. Eh, that was kind of sketchy for me. So I just sort of mumbled through it. So if it came a point where somebody caught me with a girl, I could be like, oh, mumble through it. Doesn't count. So right now I'm pretty much good with Jesus. Hey, is anyone down here? Let's go. We gotta go. Wait, get out. We forgot Kyat. Where's Kyat? 
He's, he's gonna be around here somewhere. Yo, plug in the camera, we don't wanna lose the battery. Well, we lost Kyat. We're pretty sure they got him, probably dumped him somewhere. So right now we're just sort of on the lookout, trying to find him. Kyat! Kyat! Buddy! Right. What did they do to you? I don't remember. Alright, come on, let's go. Right. Let's get you out of here. Let's go, let's go pull. We worked hard today, let's play hard. Well, one of my favorite places to go with the girl is Justice, you know? She's been good. Go get her a present. I personally prefer to get her some combs, some pins. But if I don't like them, maybe give them a little trick-or-treat type stuff with the pocket knife, you know what I mean? Call them. When I hang out at a bookstore, I like to hang by the romance novel section and see if any goodies come by. I like to give them recommendations based on the titles to find some common ground, be like... See this? Mackenzie's Legacy? More like best romance novel I've ever read. Now really, the key for finding a good romance novel is all the covers. Now basically, if the dude doesn't at least have 8 pack abs, don't even read it. See this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not worth my time. Now on the other hand, food covers? Delightful. You know this, it's a one word cover, it's mysterious, it makes you want to read it. It makes you wonder like, oh, is it really about a TV chef that finds love in her new producer? You know what? It is. Do you know why? Because I've read them. All four. So really, when you're looking for girls, you've got to stay in the best parts of the section. You've got to look for the good parts. You've got to find common ground. You can't just go up to them and go, hey, what that mouth do? They don't like that. You can't approach a girl directly. You have to go the indirect route. Follow me. <laughs> Although that may have not seemed like it's going to work well, she'll come back. If you see something expensive in public, make sure you stand next to it so that girls think that it's yours and then they'll be attracted to you because they think you got money. Watch. Hey! Some may say, you know, how did you guys learn this? Hanson. 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 This is a statue of Hanson in his youthful days, learning to slay poon. Literally learning how to trap it in between his hands. Now you may wonder, what happened to this great Hanson? Well, there are many different legends. Some say he passed on to a new life because he literally drowned in it. Unfortunately, other stories say he was lost to a different fate. Yeah. <laughs> he drowned in the tomb. <clears throat> Tragic. Cut, cut. Now you spent a day with me, the friar, and my homies, and learned how to slay to the best of your ability. Now I think it's time for you to go, because we, we got we got to find another basement. Like, seriously, we don't have anywhere to sleep tonight. Our car is running on, like, vegetable oil, not even gas anymore. Like, we get get out of the car.